let's get started with the ARM embed uh, integrated development environment. This is uh, cloud-based, so you can just run it from a web browser. Let's click on developer resources. And I'm already logged in, so I can go straight into the compiler. Now this is the workspace where you're going to have all of your programs. You can see I have quite a few right now. Over here in the top right, you can see that um, I've already um, registered my microcontroller and I'm targeting it right here. For an example, we're going to go back to our AT&T IoT Starter Kit Guide. <laughs> so here's the example program. You can just uh, click on these links. And this is the example. We can import it into our compiler. And let's give it a name. We want to import it as a full program. Okay, so here's the program. These file folder looking things are libraries. Um, and they're all, you can have lots of different revisions of libraries. So if you highlight the library and click on revision, um, you can see embed is the core library for this uh, IDE you can see we're actually running this revision way down here so there's there's a much newer revision we can just upgrade it by clicking switch but that might break everything so the main file you're gonna edit is main.cpp this particular example is gonna get us publishing data from our microcontroller through the AT&T cellular uh, LTE board and it's going to publish this data into the uh, AT&T flow and AT&T M2X products. So to get started the thing that we want to edit is config underscore me. By the way um, the step-by-step -step instructions are in this uh, starter kit guide I'm not going to read this whole thing, but I'm going to jump to the good stuff and uh, get this thing pushing some data. So what you need to do is this key, we need to get this from AT&T Flow. So we're going to go to flow.att&t.com. And we're going to want to get an example um, flow. I have some already, but I'm going to do a new one. I'm going to go to resources. I'm going to look for community projects. So typing in starter, we're going to find the starter kit reference project. Let's go ahead and fork it so that we can uh, play with it ourselves. So there's a lot of stuff here, but we don't have to worry about all of this stuff. The first thing we need to do is go into our configuration and we're going to need to get a key from M2X. So let's go to M2X. And we're going to click on our name account settings and copy this master key <clears throat> so I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to go back to flow and I'm going to paste it right in here now what we need to do is do a deploy this might take a minute the first time now that we've deployed, we need to go down here to the console and endpoints, I'm sorry. Go to the endpoints. Let's go ahead and copy this. We're going to edit this configuration one more time. Okay, so we're going to get the base URL here and we're going to put it in here. Now they really just want this much to be in there, so I'm going to cut that out. That's a base URL, and then you need to update this part. See, this says run east. Mine wasn't run east, it's run west. So, there we go. 
and then we're good to go it's gonna make something called climate blah 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 I'm gonna hit OK now to run this thing click on virtual device scroll down to the bottom here oh I better deploy it and then I'm gonna hit inject so let's go see if there a virtual device was created in M2X and there it is two seconds ago uh, virtual device named starter kit was created and this guy's ready to go it's ready to receive some a few points from our program so let's go back to embed there were a couple things we needed to update here the same base URL and the server URL so let's go copy that out of flow come on so base host name and then our URI everything else we can leave the same um, v starter kit 001 should be what this device is called if we go look at this guy it's really called starter kit 001 so we probably better update that too all right it's going to update every five seconds and we're just going to do temperature humidity and the accelerometer which is good because if we look here we just have temperature humidity and heat index um, so I better just do temp and humidity otherwise uh, I'm not sure if it'll be happy about getting extra stuff but that's all I need so I'm going to compile it if it compiles properly it actually downloads so downloads you see I have a bunch of these guys here and I'm going to go ahead and power this guy up from the power supply up here it says 5 volts and then plug in my USB to the micro When you plug in your embed microcontroller, it shows up as a drive. So all you got to do is drag and drop the bin file onto your drive and it'll load in the program. You'll need to push the reset button on your microcontroller. Now we're going to go ahead and open up CoolTerm um, so that we can view what's going on, the serial prints from the microcontroller. We've got to set up the baud rate properly here. Connect. Now you can see my controller is already uh, going. I'm going to hit the, the reset button. So here's where we can see it initialize and it sets up the board and then it starts trying to publish. So let's open the debug tab uh, in flow and there we can see that our data is coming over humidity heat index temperature and over in AT&T M2X our data is starting to stream in and be stored in the in the M2X database here you can just click on these guys and watch them load in real time so that's about it for this video. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to push this data into PubNub.